Hello everyone and welcome to my series Let's Play Prophecy of Pandora Berserker Edition. Uh, my name is Zykox, if you don't know by now, and we I am playing as a Berserker. Um, a very special Berserker because uh, I will be using throwing weapons and uh, yes, but I will be wearing no armor as you can see. Uh, the last time I had a not so lucky encounter with the, with a small band of Venskaris, which ended very well for me. I got some nice loot, and uh, but I do need to be much more careful in the future because yes, that was very close in retrospect. <laughs> so let's be more careful in the future. And uh, yes, we're five people, so what we're going to do is to continue to scour the land to get back my companions. And uh, yes. So let's head to Naltar and see if I can find one of my lost companions again and uh, sell off. sell off my prisoners. And, oh, sir, my lineage is above reproach. My house is one of the most ancient and respected in Pendor. Yet Julia openly shows me disrespect and ca casts doubt on my background. Sorry, it's a sorry day indeed when common folk feel free to mock their betters. That's all. Hmm. I don't want to take sides, but I know I cannot uh, be good with all companions, so I'm gonna go with Reba now. No, actually <laughs> I haven't made up my mind at all about um, uh, companions that I want to keep. And yes, look at this guy, Caliph Hamid. He's one of my... <laughs> most hated or most favorite lords depending on which side of the battle he's going to be look at this he has the Shar scorpion assassins 58 um, yes these are the highest tier infantry units along with the blade masters that, that the Shar can get and the scorpion assassins and the blade masters are easily the most dangerous infantry that you can meet in this game um, now, uh, I have neglected talking a little bit about the game as well, so um, yes, in this game it's very easy to get high level troops, in fact you will need those people, um, and uh, the one problem is that um, a lot of the high tier groups will be above level 40, and uh, this mod actually prevents you from hiring any troops that are higher than level 40. So, um, yes, if you really want to know, um, I think that the, the Shar Scorpion Assassins, if I remember correctly, they're actually level 60. <laughs> so yeah, there's no way you can train them. Uh, you, uh, I mean, you can recruit them. Training them will be, of course, very difficult as well, but we will get to that much, much later when I actually get a small force of, yes, a small force of troops. Do I know you? I am Zykox at your service. I am Caliph Hammond, a vessel of the Dishar Principalities and Lord of Naltar. No tasks, nothing. Yes, only good for blood sacrifice. That's a rather gruesome picture. And oh no, I was not in time to help him. And Hajinabi Bay, this piece with the Empire ill suits me. So he wants war. Um, okay, we should remember that. Hajinabi Bay. I think he's always a dishonorable lord. Ah, uh, still, I would have liked to get 
my hands on some of the prisoners, but okay, oh well. Uh, if I if we talk about Prophecy of Pandora, it's really a great mod. There would be some small things that I would like to see improved in the future. Maybe a, a little bit more tactical options on the overland map. I mean, like rushing, gaining a small burst of speed on the map for morale loss. And yes, other things that I've seen in other very good mods. Uh, oh well. I won't complain too much. Um, it's also very difficult to balance things out because uh, of course the AI Lords will not have the ability to do the same. So, yeah. Brother Randolph. He's the one who sold me, yes. Already showed me the... The map to Al Aziz, and uh, yes, there's actually nothing cheap dates, but I only have two horses. Oh, they've recovered from lane, which is nice. We got some arrows. Well, I got the th I don't need the throwing knives anymore, I guess. I will keep the shields. For now, the helmet is nice as well. I don't think I need the axes. Yes, I took the bow from Julia. Um, so she can focus on... Well, focus on kicking ass with her halberd. And not get distracted with other things. Um, yes, I guess I can... Uh, actually, no, I actually have not decided on how to equip my companions. Actually, I always like to go for bows, make them into archers. So, yes, maybe that's what I will do this time as well. Longbow is nice. Although there's no one who can use it at this moment. So yes, uh, I'm rather poor as well, so I will keep that for later and hopefully I will find my companions soon. Now let's move off to Ishkoman and maybe, maybe I will do another... Uh, oh, careful, how fast are they? How fast am I? 6, 5, 3, 7, 5, 3, yeah, you're never gonna catch me. I'm gonna do another stupid venture to Torba, but this time I'm gonna make sure I'm not gonna get caught by any of the raiders again, or at least um, emerge victoriously this time. That's a nice courser. That's a pretty good deal as well, except that I don't have the money and I cannot ride a horse because I'm a berserker. Right. Come on. Donovan, Jocelyn. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not finding any of my lost companions. Wait, uh, I wanna sell my dates. Is that a good price here? Oh, that's a good price. And I'm gonna sell a little bit more. How much money? Hey, actually, I might be able to hire Donovan. Actually. 6 8, which is not very fast, and we're all wounded. I need to be really, really super careful. Lord Ikram, yes, let's stick around this guy. Oh, actually, Julia, Alyssa, and Riva are not actually contributing anything. Come on, 
give me a companion. Uh, no, Narda. Nothing. Uh, they got cheap salt, although the price is not really that great. But why not? I'm rather. Let's be a risky, stupid merchant. I would like to go. Oh, yes, there are the hidden mines of Al Aziz. But let's go there later when we're a little bit faster, not. Oh, uh, nightfall. Farad Khan. Oh, nice. So, no raiders around. So, I need to be careful not to run into Red Brotherhood. Dudes. Uh, I'm still hostile with the Empire, which is not so very nice. We're still a small party, so we can sneak into any town. And I don't have any enterprises in any Empire towns yet, so... Yes, because if you have enterprises in uh, your enemy, or in towns or factions that are opposed to you, or that just don't like you, you will not be able to get any income from your enterprises for those of you who didn't know <laughs> okay wow I'm making a very good run trade run here actually I'm gonna keep these three bags of salt around and maybe I will go and hire Donovan how much money do I have like just barely hire Donovan yes what is it you wish stranger I have little patience with tavern gossipers I always speak to travelers in taverns. I like to hear the news. Very well, as you wish. I would welcome the company. My name is Donovan and I come from across your western sea, though we call it another name in my homeland. I am the second son of a Barclay noble whom you have likely not heard of since my land is far away. Wait, am I not actually also from Barclay? <laughs> I came to seek my fortune in Pandor, training men in the art of battle. Unfortunately, the Lord here in Ishkoman disapproves of the disciplinary, disciplinary methods needed to turn rabble into soldiers. I told him it was wiser to flog them now rather than bury them later, but he refused to listen and advised me to take my services elsewhere. If you know of a commander who prefers to win battles rather than molly coddle his soldiers, I would be grateful if you direct me to him. My Lord certainly could use a bit of discipline and some training. I would be pleased to ride with you at least for a little while for a pay and a share of any loot. I'm a skilled swordsman and I can also train and drill your men. I warn you in advance, however, that it will not serve under a leader who is lax in disciplinary matters for no true soldier respects a soft hand. Good, I'm pleased to hire a soldier, someone like you. Ah, one last thing. I require an initial bounty of 3,000 dinners before I join your command. I never enter someone's services without receiving an advance payment. Wow, 3,000. Yep, that's not gonna happen. Right, so next let's head to Janos. She's nothing but a brigand as far as I can tell. Genuine blue bloods are bad enough. They lie, cheat and steal. Bandits pretending to be blue bloods are even more intolerable. And I might have said something a bit sharp to her a minute ago. She seemed offended anyway. Well, actually, so she does admit to not saying nice things. She's weary? Yeah, because, um, yeah. The last time I took this out of river. Okay, this time I'm gonna take the side of Julia. Oh no, the, actually that was not a good decision. But, ah oh, well, I yeah, Riva is upset. <coughs> yeah, um, so much for uh, companion management. This is going to be very bad. But hopefully it won't matter in the long run. Because we're here to fight with armies and not just with my small band of companions. Yes, so... Yep, no one to intercept me, disguise, get in, and enter the tavern. Jaron Longshanks. Actually, I do have some spare money. I should inquire where I can find my companions. 
Where did I get the loot? <laughs> right. Okay, have you heard of any rumors? Preserve me from shackles and bless me I have what you want. I was in the right place at the right time to hear some dark whispers. There's something that my associates would want to hear as well, just so you know. I met a nameless acquaintance outside the walls who told me an intriguing story regarding heretics. When he was getting some fresh night air, ah uh, yes, it was two nights ago after dark, he saw a man who was in unmistakably a heretic priest. He briefly spoke to a couple of urchins, handed them some coins, and the urchins promptly scarpered off. Which reminds me, I have an opportunity to discuss if you're interested. Okay, come on. Six Singalian foreign spearmen who are in my employ. I cannot pay them. 150 dinners is actually pretty good pay. Now, do I want to have spearmen? I will be fighting a lot of bandits. So, uh, okay, yes, why not? Jaron Longshanks. What news can you tell me? Ah, I'm glad you asked. I do indeed have a piece of information for you. It's a tale from a soldier from the castle about the barbaric travelers. A few nights ago, when he was headed to the tavern, he said a sea captain told him about some island called Vekavi, where the women run everything and the men are slaves. Did you ever hear such a thing? No, not yet. Interesting. I'm looking for one of my companions. Oh, there there are three. And uh, my favorite companions as well. Adonja says again, Laria... Ethos. Oh, wow, it's all rather close. So let's hurry and. Yes. Nice tidbit of profit. Uh, maybe running out of fruit sometime. Six Singalian Spearmen. Oh, actually, I don't know if that was a good deal because um, we are 11, which would make sneaking in towns more difficult. Yeah, that's a treasure map location, Fanata. No, I don't think I have the capability of taking up that challenge yet. So let's just ignore that for a moment. If you do believe that you can take up the challenge early, then by all means go go ahead and do so. Um, failure in um, completing the let's say yeah, let's say completing the treasure map locations just means that you lose the location and you have to be lucky and find uh, another map. A different location. Oh my gosh, heretic army. Wow. 574, that's a lot. And as you can see, they got very interesting troops. Demonic Magnus, Heretic Invoker, Heretic Magnus, Heretic Worshipper, Heretic Minion, and Nine Adventurers. Just as a warning, Demonic Magnuses are the most dangerous troop in the game that you can find so yes it will be a very 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 long time until I can actually take on any of them and I don't seem to get any opportunity to um, actually improve my relationship oh I can besiege the town to actually improve my relationship with the Empire and yes they have a tournament I cannot enter but I get a donja. I need more renown. Renown, renown, renown. And I will maybe need some more food again. Um, this will add to my weight, however. Well, I got two horses, so um, I already got some fruits. Let's take some cabbages. Sumpter horse. No, they actually have no nice price on some of the horses noble origin yes noble origin would have been nice but I'm not ish command oh actually now I got enough people to do any caravan escort quests so let's rush to ethos and now with 12 people I still hope we will be able to sneak into towns unmolested
red brotherhood I can actually take them on I mean we're 12 and we have these Singalian spearmen so let's make them pay for themselves and engage them come on yes they're running for me they're not so stupid after all they know I'm oh wow look at this secular knights empire immortals and they're very fast but actually I could use this opportunity to help out the immortals and improve my relationships and as you can see secular knights are not part of the empire they're part of the knight order the empire immortals so yes let's try to wait and yes help out the secular knights this should improve our relationship hopefully by a little oh there they are the mortals whoa look at that armor it's magnificent and I'm pretty sure they're they are pretty much as dangerous as they look so one thing that I want to be careful of is not to lose any of my precious Singalian spearmen which is which will be difficult because they seem rather fast Where are my companions actually? They're traveling in behind me. Oh, come on, I'm missing. Oh, I got one. You, who are you? Nope, don't shoot my. Incredible, I'm missing. Ah, I got one kill. These immortals are really, really. Thank you for your help. It was fortunate to have that you were nearby. That was nice. So, now the question is I don't know it. I don't think I'd got any relationship. What? Did I get any relationship? No, I didn't. Oh, no, I guess the bandits were just too weak to warrant, warrant any kind of uh, gratitude. Um, militia patrol. Oh gosh, there are 30 of them. They got some nice prisoners. They got Noldors. Noldors, which is very tempting. Although, because they're prisoners, and as I said, you cannot hire prisoners or rescue prisoners above level 40. It will not be of any use to me. They're rather busy. They're going to Ethos, and it's nightfall again. I miss the Serpent Temple with its undulating carvings and the quiet there. I also greatly miss my little pet. He was emerald color with silvery eyes and coiled about my neck like a necklace more beautiful than any jewel. Tell me more. We spend our days in quiet contemplation of the greatness of Azidaka, broken only by forays to obtain fresh sacrifices. I am sick of eating only bread, cabbage and apples. Do these Pandorians grow no vegetables at all? Oh yes, that does not really sound like a very nutritious uh, choice for vegetarians. So let's sneak in and actually it's night so I hope no I will not run into any bandits. Oh my gosh, no, please no, okay, no bandits. Oh my gosh, if I do run into bandits, I actually will not have my hammer. I actually have this little knife. I just realized. I need to be really more careful about this. Phineas the Digit again. Yes, and as always, selling much overpriced books. Prisoners. Ashton the Van Wanderer. What news can you share of your travels? Well met, my lord Zycox. I do indeed have a piece of information for you. You will, I know you will find this at least mildly useful. My informant and adventurer called himself 
Griffiud of Tharn told me a tale about the Nordor when he was looking for his friend. Ah, yes, it was two days ago in the morning. He heard from a captured thief that a Sarian lord bought a Nordor maiden ranger from the Red Brotherhood and keeps her locked up in his castle tower. I wonder what his lady wife thinks of that. What? The fiend. Sarlian Lord, now I know that I will not ally myself with Sarlion ever. I don't know much about the Nordor yet, but I definitely think it's not honorable or nice to buy a slave, female slave, for, well, um, sexual pleasures. Kasim, greetings Bahadur. Would you share tea and conversation with one alone and far from his home? Thanks, with whom do I have the pleasure of taking tea? What has brought you here? I am Kasim, son of Jamshid, grandson of Bahman, great grandson of Ikram, a Pamiri Dashar of the High Passes. Were you of Pendor, you'd know why I am so far from home. Since the days of my great great grandfather, my people have had blood feud with the tribe of Yusafzai who squat in the next valley over from ours. Many men have died in this feud, including two of my brothers. The Bahadur Khan himself ordered us to seize this blood feud to save men for fighting the wars in Pendor. I, however, honor my duty to my tribe and my brother's blood cried out for vengeance. I waylaid and killed two Yusuf Zai on a trek in the mountains. I then rode out of our village that same night without even bidding farewell to my father. I will wait a year or two, then return home after the Khan's men have forgotten me. The Yusafzai will not forget, of course, as our blood feuds will never end until all our enemies are dead. Against the day I no need no longer beware the Khan's wrath, I would welcome any opportunity to earn a living with my scimitar. I consider hiring you if you can be sure you'll not to desert if you have to fight the Dashar. Why, that is a most generous offer, assuming of course that you are as affluent as you are fierce. I shall not betray you as long as you honor a Khan's duty by paying me amply and regularly and allowing me the opportunity to loot. You must also refrain from dragging me into battle if there is no chance of winning. Please offer me salt. It's a Dishar custom to eat salt from the hand of our Khan as a pledge of loyalty. Certainly, please eat my salt. Thank you. Now to seal our lines, I ask for 800 dinners. It's the rice my father gave me. Never fight for a non-tribesman unless he pays your worth in gold up front. Well, 800 dinners is pretty cheap. I hope you will be worth more than that. <laughs> Right, very nice. So we got Kasim, and this video has gone on for a while. So I will, I will equip Kasim and see what he is actually capable of. Oh, he's got nice power power draw. Um, some horse archery, some riding, no athletics whatsoever. He does not have a horse, which is rather unfortunate. Oh, he can wear the helmet. I'm gonna give him a nice shield. Um, yes. Hmm. Uh, well, actually, I do want to give him an arrow, but I think that in the beginning, well, until I can get him a better arrow, it's not gonna make sense because these hunting bows are actually really, 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 really bad, actually. Same with with Julia as I took her bow away. She's got a very nice halberd. I would like almost like to have that for myself. I could run around with both of these weapons actually, but that's very uncool. I mean, running around with a hammer and a halberd? No. I will have to make a choice for either. So yes, this has um, oh we have 14 people now. Oh my gosh, this will make this may make sneaking in. Oh, ho hopefully sneaking in will still be successful. I do have still some money left, so I will be losing that money if I get caught. So yes, I will head to Laria and maybe end this video as I get captured, <laughs> sneaking in. 14 people, this should be fine. 
That should be fine. Oh my gosh, I should have field tested stuff like this before making this video. Ah, the woods of Laria. This place has all sorts of evil creatures lurking in its shadows. There are even shapeshifters here if you believe the old tales. The king of Sarleon declared this to be his personal hunting preserve. And he said he'd hang anyone who has much as strong a bow here. What's the result? The family grows hungry and the father poaches to feed them. The Lord Sheriff hangs him and takes his land. His sons, rather than starve, turn bandit. Naturally, anyone in the valley escaping a debt, a nagging wife or a vengeful noble comes up here and joins them living on wild pigs, berries and purses of unburied travelers. I know this because I was taken by bandits and hunt for ransom, but I got away. That's really all there is to tell. Hmm. Okay, let's not get captured. Come on, you can sneak in. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, a very bad way to end the video, I guess. That's nice to, um, yes. So I got captured, and more days pass. Ah, uh, let me out. Hmm. Five hundred eighteen dinners. All right. Uh, okay. Sneaking it at night should be better. Wait, I besieged the castle. Oh my god, wait. This was a misclick. Oh my gosh, this is actually bad. I completely misclicked. And I actually already saved, so there's no backup save. Oh, okay, what to do now? Oh, let's try to sneak in again. Oh, this time it's working because it's night, probably. Yes, well, now I'm officially at full war with the Empire. <laughs> Okay, um, yes. Well, uh, I hopefully will get a Merc contract soon, in which case, uh, um, yes, this negative relationship will be of no consequence. Oh, yes, very nice. So, another interesting twist at the end of the video. Um, yes, I need to be much more careful in the future. And uh, yes. So, um, with this, I will end the video. Some nice bows. I will end the video and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.